with the disc wheel, we are just getting bigger. Sustainability uh, is also very really important. So please feel free to come close and touch the screen. It's very cold. It's very cool. And that's where we are heading to. So the temperature of the LED screen is one thing, but also power consumption is going down, and that's very important. Now there's also like three technologies you're gonna be seeing around on the show, which is COB, chip on board, MIP, and uh, the latest technology basically, which is COB in a chip. So there's micro LEDs, so all these things all moving into, and at the end of the day, it's all basically everything is, so everything is moving to micro LEDs, mini LEDs, getting cooler and getting better and more sustainable. The advantage of MIP, what this is, it's repairable. So those are the things you have to think about. So COB is non-repairable because it's sealed, you cannot repair it. It's also basically, you know, over time, it's an issue. MIP, which is a new technology, and we'll, we'll get to that, is basically COB package. It's also non repairable, but it's a lot cheaper. It's going to be very cheap, so the cost of it is going to drop tremendously over time. And it's very important the weight is an issue, the temperature is an issue, and noise. That's when all these products basically there's no power supply. The power supply is actually remote. So it's getting cool, there's no noise, power supplies are basically behind the scene. So it's really very simple for maintenance. If something happens, we don't need to see our power supplies, you don't have to be in your control room to fix it. You can go behind the scenes. You have redundancy, you can just flip out the power supply, so heat. So to the weight, it makes it a lot less heavy. In the old days, it was very heavy. LCD is very heavy because, you know, you have the whole infrastructure, you have the mechanics, and LCD panel by itself is very heavy. It also has a lot of LEDs, which also not that heavy. But really, for a mechanical point of view, this makes it a lot easier. You can have different resolutions that you can see here. So everything's possible. As I said, different resolutions, MIP, COB, whatever you want. Let me show you the latest technology, which is actually in the front. The downside of LED screens, traditionally, is a viewing angle. When you go under certain angles, the brightness and the color shifts, which is inherent to an LED panel. Now feel free later on if you have time to basically put your head against the screen, look from the left to the right. We have a little setup on the other side, which has two traditional panels, normal panels. Go around, look around, and there's two specific panels on top of it, which has an ultra wide viewing angle and color brightness. So for certain applications, that also makes it very important in having basically no color shift, no brightness shift, horizontally and vertically. So this is the latest, you can feel, you can touch, there's no problem. It's, uh, it's micro LED, MIP stands for micro LED in a package. So it really means that you have tiny, tiny little LEDs. It's basically, it starts from COB. So people are moving from basically a wafer, they're putting on a PCB board, then they cut the PCB board in tiny little individual pixels, RGB, and then those pixels are being put in a package. That's where MIP stands for, is micro LED in package. Uh, the advantage of the technology is that you can create whatever you want. You can create whatever resolution. So resolutions are going to go up. You can also feel it. It's also very cold because it's CUB, flip to from the cathode very cold and it's very sustainable. The advantage of the technology is that the fact that every single pixel can be cut is not repairable, you know, let me put it this way, it's not repairable but the fact that the chips are so cheap and over time this technology will be basically so cheap that you don't repair it. Throw away, if you have an issue, 
get it out, throw it away, because people think that repairing is the best solution, and it's not. Because think about it, if you have defective module, think about the downtime. Think about the fact that you have to dig it out, you need people, you have to package it, you have to ask for an RMA number, you have to return it, it has to be shipped, it has to be repaired, it has to come back. Think about the cost of all that. We are really more focusing on getting modules, getting technology in such a way that if you have an issue on site, you don't repair it, don't think about it, you just throw it away and you get another one. Place. Sustainability is an important question. First of all, as I already said, it's a cool technology, so the amount of power consumption we have in these panels is very low. Due to the LED technology we are using, so it's very low, it's very cool, uh, and most of the things, basically the boards we are using are, well, you would say sustainability on the LED side, it's, I talk about let's throw it away and it's all about cost of ownership that's what it's all about but for the rest of mechanics power supplies all that can be reused over and over again and uh, we can talk a little bit more